Hey babe, do you know where the Cracking the Coding interview book is at? I think it's in the library. A Q implements FIFO, FIFO, first in, first out ordering as a line or Q. So this isn't strictly necessary in graph theory, but it's usually how we use trees and problems. Given a sorted array, increasing order array with unique integer elements, write an algorithm to create a binary search tree with minimal height. This is my guide to giving a good technical interview. A lot of you always ask how to pass the technical interview question. This tool will help you learn how to do that. <sighs> Maybe I should just call Mayuko. She passed the Fang tech interview. Hey! Hey, what's up? Not much, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty stressed out though. Uh oh, let's hear it, what happened? Yeah, I'm preparing for this technical interview with a Fang company. And I just need some advice. Like, I know you worked at Netflix and you've already passed these type of interviews. I mean, this is the advice that I give to everybody for anybody who's going through technical interviews. But I think it's like really, really helpful to practice doing the technical interview with somebody else. Like basically run a mock interview. Because the scariest thing about a mock interview or a technical interview rather, is that you're doing like you're problem solving in front of somebody else. Mm -hmm. And you have to like, Make sure that you're thinking out loud and you're being like logical with your reasoning and you're allowing the interviewer to follow along. I heard something really good one time from someone who's done like a bunch of these like fang technical interviews that like the interview is really there to just like witness your problem solving. And the fang company interviews like sometimes they throw some weird questions out there. So, you know, cracking the coding interview is your friend. Dude, why are you trying to wear a shirt and tie? It's a coding interview. You look dumb. Put on a t-shirt. All right, there goes nothing. Hey, what's up, dude? My name's Darren. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? My name is Jossie. I'm a senior software engineer, AKA I've been working here for like two years. So yeah, definitely gives me the authority to give you this interview. I actually studied computer science at Berkeley for like a semester before I decided to drop out and be self-taught while also working as a barista. I like backpacking and spending time with my dog along with rock climbing. That's awesome. I wish I could rock climb but I'm really afraid of heights. I also don't drink coffee, so I don't even know the difference between like a latte and a frappe. Really dude, that's all you have to say? I currently work on the PTO team. You'll learn about that acronym if you get hired. We develop and maintain our large scale systems, creating web tools and UIs that can handle millions of processes in the cloud. That's a little bit about me. We've got like the first five minutes to talk about what I've done and I can learn a little bit about you, even though it has no bearing on the interview. So I got your resume here and how do you pronounce your name? It's pronounced ja C, like ja C. G. A C. Ja C. Gia C. Ja C. Ja C. Just sigh. You know what? It's cool. All right, nonetheless, let's get started. 
I don't even know what I'm supposed to be asking you. You're going for a back end role, right? Actually, front end. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, all right. What is your opinion on JavaScript versus Java? How is that relevant? I'm just asking you with a warm up question. I'm about to send you a coder pad and we are going to do two or three really simple coding questions. Good thing I solved 100 leak code easy problems. This should be a cakewalk. The first question is this palindrome question. I'm going to copy it into the coder pad. I've seen this problem before. It's question number nine on leak code. Come on, bruh. That's a softball. I can't believe I'm about to get this job. This interview is so easy. That looks good. Now I'm going to copy and paste this next question. Definitely don't ask questions if you have any. Um, but this is a valid number algorithm question and I'm going to copy and paste it into the coder pad. Huh, I bet this kid thinks he's gonna pass this interview with flying colors. A valid number can be split up into these components in order, a decimal number or an integer, optional and lowercase e or uppercase e followed by an integer. A decimal number can be split up into these components in order, a sign character plus or minus, one or, following, one or more digits followed by a dot, followed by one more digits, a dot, followed by another, followed by one, a dot, followed by one or more digits, two, zero, zero, eight, nine, negative point one, plus 3.14, not valid, A, B, C, one A, one E, E, three, negative, negative six. Given if it takes you more than 30 seconds to understand the problem, that's a minus five? What? All right, so I think I'm gonna solve for the base case first. All right, we've run out of time. Thank you for interviewing with us today. Someone will reach out within two to seven weeks regarding your next steps, if you have any.